Hi, this is Brian with Mingo Smart Factory. In this video, I'm gonna cover a really cool feature, which is the ability to drill down and edit records directly from a dashboard. So let's say, for example, I wanna take a look at my St. Louis facility. So I'm gonna filter this down to St. Louis. And I wanna look at my downtime Pareto. So this is telling me yesterday what all the downtime reasons were. And maybe I wanna change this plan maintenance or put a comment on it to make it a little bit more specific. So I can hit the expand button here, click on view details, and then I get a list of every single event that makes up that Pareto chart. And we can see right here is one of our plan maintenance reason codes. And I can edit this if I have permission directly from this screen. I don't need to go find it on the operator screen. I don't need to go search it from anywhere else. So it makes it really easy to go through and classify downtime, scrap, and change things maybe that weren't correct because somebody didn't enter them properly. So I can add a comment here. I can change my reason code as well. And then once I'm done, I can just hit save. So maybe this was a, a tool change. And then hit update and it's gonna change to a tool change. And if I go back to my Pareto, it will update. Let me go back to my St. Louis facility here. It's going to update and now I'm gonna have less plan maintenance and I'm going to have a tool change. We can do this too from any of the tables or anywhere else in the, in the dashboard. So anywhere we have this expand button and we wanna hit view details, we can click on that and then look at all of the details. So it makes it really easy to go through here and reclassify any of this information. So like on furnace, maybe that wasn't idle, it was something else, maybe it was, uh, again, maybe that was planned maintenance, for example, and I can hit update and update that there. And then when I go back to the dashboards, it'll be updated. In addition to editing events, you can do the same thing for production runs. So if I look at, you know, this is summarized data by machine. If I look at these production runs, I can click on view details, and then it'll show me all of the normal buttons that I have available under production history. So I can do deletes, I can do merges, I can export to Excel, I can view these, I can recalculate OEE. All of the functions that are available to me, to me under history are also available directly in drill down from the dashboards. Again, you have to have permissions to be able to see these things. So if you can't see them in history, you're not gonna see them in the dashboards. You can still look at the data if you have rights to do that, but you won't have the ability to edit. 